Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Dark Souls. Hello. Last time we... What did we do last time? We uh, beat Sif uh, after realizing we screwed up at the Four Kings and did not get the... Uh, the uh, this, this one. Covenant of Artorias Ring. So we went and got that. Uh, beat Sif, and then we went back and beat the Four Kings. Uh, let's see, at the end of the last episode, I said we might be tackling the DLC, but I think we're going to hold off on the DLC for just a little bit longer. And we're going to go ahead and tackle the Catacombs next. Uh, I don't think I'm quite ready for the DLC yet. So, yeah. That's what we're going to do. Uh, first thing I want to do is... Let me see, where is it? Uh, store straight sword. I, do we have any twinkling? We do. We, good. We're gonna go upgrade the, uh, a store straight sword first. Uh, no bears. Um, I don't necessarily need to, but since it has that, uh, divine property on it, it's gonna help a lot with the catacombs. I can get through it without upgrading it, and if you want to use it, you can too. But it's just gonna make our life a little bit easier. Well, uh, you and I need think Andre can upgrade it. Yes, he can. All right, awesome. Just because I have the one, why not? Go get your knight. Oh, and no, I don't. No, don't don't attack well, Andre. Uh, you need one last thing. Don't repair that. Let's repair everything, and then set off. All right. Go get your. Now that that's taken care of. We will head to the catacombs. Uh, at 15 faith. I'm at the like one step above minimum for being able to wield this, so it's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but it'll it'll do what we need it to do, and that's all that matters. One other thing I would recommend before heading into the catacombs is possibly you might want to put on a shield that has 100% um, physical block because of the enemies that are in here. It's just, it, it will probably make your life easier. Um, any 100% physical block will do. You can do Grass Crest Shield. Blood Shield looks cool. If you want to use it. Um, what are the stats on that? Not awful. Uh, I think I'm personally going to go with the Crest Shield though, because I like it. I can still fast roll. Okay. So now that all that's been taken care of, let me remember how to get. He's sleeping. Uh, I gotta remember how to get there. I think it's this way. Yeah. It's been a minute. So these guys are actually gonna be heading into the catacombs pretty soon. They're part of a quest you don't line. Need to explain the urgency. You I think then she's not even saying anything any different. Uh, to be completely honest, I don't think I've ever done her quest line. If I did, it was a long time ago, and I don't remember it. All right, let's go. Yeah, don't do a whole lot of damage, but I think it'll be enough damage to... It'll be enough for what we want. And all we really want is to just kill these guys once, and they won't come back. I do think I mentioned it before, but if you do try to tackle catacombs without a weapon, without like a faith weapon, oh yeah, there's this big boy. 
without a faith weapon, um, the skeletons will not stay dead. You attack them with their normal weapon, with your normal weapon, they will come back to life. And how you can tell is, let me do a little test here. Let me pull out my normal weapon and kill a skeleton. Come here, come here. Okay. Actually, I'm wrong. Well, at least for this part. I think when you get further into the catacombs, that's when that comes to comes to play. These guys actually do stay dead, and you can tell because you get souls from them. If you do not... Ow. If you don't get souls from them, that means that they didn't actually die. So my apologies. I think it might actually just be once you get into the catacombs that they... Don't stay dead. Uh, I believe this... That's the path into the catacomb, so we will go there in just a second. A couple more items I want to get up here, most notably the Zweihander, which if you remember from my previous run, um, I got this very early in the game. It's a great strength weapon. One of the best in the game, in my opinion at least, uh, along with the Claymore. So if you're looking for a really good strength weapon, that will carry you through all of the game, Zweihander is the one, and you can get it right at the beginning of the game if you're ballsy enough to run for it. Now that we have that taken care of, it's time to head into the catacombs, one of my least favorite areas in this game, just because it's hard to see. Uh, those guys, skeletons don't stay dead, there's bone wheels literally everywhere, it's obnoxious. But at least the boss is cool. Alright, let me see if I can do this test now. There we go. What? Yeah. Now, if you notice, I did not get souls for that kill. And then he comes back to life. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I'm actually not sure if that counts as him being dead or not. No, it didn't. He did not get killed by a divine weapon. There we go. The other way you can tell is you have to look a little close, but... If you kill them without a, a faith weapon or a divine weapon, their eyes will stay blue, and that's another way you can tell that they're still that they're still alive. It's a fun little tidbit. All right. Uh, oh God, I can't see a damn thing down here. This is no bueno. Uh... All right. Gotta do your run spirally jump thing. Okay. Uh, before we progress any more, because it, ooh, the scimitar it is so damn dark down here. We're gonna fix the brightness because I know y'all probably can't see it either. All right. Let's see here. It has been a hot minute since I've been down here. Yep, you're gone. Oh, I was gonna try to parry him, but... Alright. So they're done. Nothing there. Nothing there. Did you drop another scimitar? Yes, you did. Scimitar is not a bad weapon either. I believe if you go... Oh shit, hello. If you start with the Wanderer class, I believe they... Uh, start with a uh, scimitar. Alright. There's a bonfire right there. Uh, let me take a look at the scimitar real quick. I think I passed it. I think it's up this way. There you are. Small curved sword. Each hit inflicts little damage, but fluid chain attacks are deadly. Scimitar sharp slashing attacks are effective against cloth and flesh, but not against metal armor or tough scale. So they're really good against people. 
Uh, it does inflict bleed, if I remember correct. No, it does not. I am incorrect. It does not inflict bleed. Um, it has really fancy swooshy swoosh attacks, and the heavy attack is this cool little spin that's not honestly very uh, reliable when you're actually trying to use it in a fight. But regardless, it's pretty cool. Alright, so now we got a bonfire that I'm not going to rest at just yet because I don't want everything respawning. Um, I do believe, though, that this guy does not respawn at the bonfire. Uh, when you rest at the bonfire. But all the skeletons will, and I just don't want to deal with them right now. So once you hit that switch, you are sent to, not sent, you can go into deeper levels of the catacombs. This is when things are going to start getting a little dicey. Um, obviously there's more skeletons, which they're not the problem we need to deal with. Not the problem we need to deal with. They're not the biggest issue. It's everything else in this godforsaken place that's the issue. Oh, he blocking. There we go. That could have gone better. But we did it nonetheless. Alright. Let's see here. Okay, so there's a fog door there, which we cannot access yet. Something just exploded. We can't access that fog door yet because, as you can see, that path is full of spikes and we will immediately die. So we've got to go a little bit deeper before we can actually solve that. And there's another one of these guys here. And he is going to run and try to pull you into this trap over here. Um, so I ugh, recommend if you're coming in here earlier than me... Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, there you go. If you're I did not mean to try to heal. Oh, wow. I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay. We're going to back up a little bit. There we go. If you're coming in here earlier than me, I would be a little bit more careful than I'm being. Because uh, I still almost died. But I'm honestly a bit overleveled for this place. Um, but I don't like this place, so I try to be as high of a level as possible to get through it as quickly as I can. Same with Lost Isolith. Uh, I... I like the look of Lost Isolith. I really do. And I don't mind the look of the catacombs. It's a cool area. I just think it's a bit annoying with all the bone wheels and everything. And we'll talk more about Lost Isolith when we get there. I've got a lot to say about that place. Because they missed a lot of good opportunities with it, in my opinion. But like I said, we'll discuss that when we get there. Right now we're dealing with a skeleton that likes to turtle as much as I do. Okay, let's see. This is a trap, yep. God, these skeletons really like to guard. Alright, so it takes about... Back. It takes about four slashes to completely kill these guys you just do it normally, at least for me, with a plus three restore a straight sword. If you're doing a faith build, if you happen to be doing a faith build, this place will not be any problem for you. We did just get a halberd slash lance type weapon, the Lucerne. I've never used this weapon. It looks cool. Uh, I've never used it, though. Halberd with a large hard large hard beak like protrusion inflicts thrust damage instead of thrusting like a spear the wielder of the lucerne aims to club the head with its hard beak okay so it's like a spear hammer kind of uh let's take a look at it just for fun oh okay yeah you just like beat the shit out of okay it's still got the same halberd uh spin attack but 
you just try to beat the shit out of people. I dig it. We can get used to that. Alright. God. I really like to guard. It's awfully annoying. There we go. I hate that that tiny little wooden shield can block my freaking sword attack. Come on. You're spent. Yeah. That's usually the most ideal time to attack them is when they do that spin twirly attack because they end up falling apart and are unable to attack for a short amount of time. So it gives you plenty of time to take them down if you can actually get them to work with you. Okay, so there's an archer there. And then there's a sword guy there. Let's see if we can get this guy to... I'll take the arrows. That's fine. Alright. This drops you back down into, if it looks familiar, it's that room with the, I'm going to call him a necromancer, I'm not exactly sure what he is, but the guy that tried to lure you into a trap, it's that room, so you don't want to go back in there yet. Uh, this way though, wait a minute, hold on, oops, I went backwards, okay, back up, here we go. Actually, I might be wrong. That might be where you want to go. Hold on. Oh, wait. No, it's this way. Here we go. Okay. These, if I remember correctly, yes. They're spike traps. So when you walk in front of them, they will hit you with spikes to try to knock you off the edge. So make sure you're careful about that. And then make sure you watch out for the, uh, <clears throat> those floating heads, because they are beyond obnoxious to have to deal with. Alright, this is an issue. Yeah, those, those floating heads are a large issue just due to the fact that they can both hit you and then they can hit the enemies and ruin your kill on them because they don't them hitting the enemy does not count as a kill so this switch should flip that and now that doesn't have any spikes on it this is a solar brown knight and then there's a dude chilling over there, which we will talk to very, very shortly. Because we can't do anything with him yet. Alright, so now that... I forgot about that. I tell you to watch out for it, and then I don't watch out for it. Alright, oh! Camera's the death of me sometimes. Let's see here. So if we go back this way... Uh, let's see here. That seems fishy. Apparently there's nothing. Alright, so this place, you'll, this part of it, you'll need to be a little bit careful because I believe each of these, there's several of these little cubby holes on the staircase down. And each one, that was a damn trap that I completely fell for, dumbass. Alright, there weren't as many cubby holes as I thought, but I straight up fell for that trap like an idiot. Alright, so more skeletons, and that guy is more than likely a trap. Yep. Watch out for him. This... 
that's not an invisible wall, like I thought it was. Okay, this, I believe, is the way to go, so I don't want to go there just yet. As I would like to see... Anything following me? Okay. As I would like to see what is over here. More skellies and an item. And more traps, which is just lovely. Oh boy. That was almost bad. Okay. Soul of a Proud Knight. And another scimitar. Yay. Alright. Let's see what's down this way. this in. I think yeah there's nothing else down that way. I don't think. Uh, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Wait what? A falchion? Okay. Guess I missed that. Okay, let's see. Oh, that was almost bad. Oh, wait, actually, I think that is where I need to go. I think you do have to drop down. Come to think of it, I just, I was able to actually see the bodies of the skeletons that I killed, so... I do actually think that's where we need to go. Uh, let me just double check real quick. Make sure... Yes, nothing did open, so that is the way we need to go. My apologies. It's uh, like I said, it's been a bit since I've done this place, so I'm trying to remember how it goes. Uh, let's see. Just because I'm curious. That is a no-go. But over here. All right, we're getting ever closer to the fog over there. Oh, yeah, I think this thing constantly rotates. I think. We're going to find out in a minute, that's for sure. Let's see what this one is. Ah, ah, uh, this motherfucker. Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? You're clearing this thing. So this is, if I remember correctly, this is Patches. And Patches is an asshole. I don't recommend you leave Patches alive. Um, I believe if you answer that you are a cleric, he might try to kill you. I don't remember. We're going to find out. Yes, I imagine as much. Best of luck with your children. This place is treacherous. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Um, yeah. his little hehehe at the end like of it. there, it should give you enough way. of an idea that this guy is an asshole. Yeah. What is it now? Um, there's an event a little bit later in the catacombs where he will kick you into a hole. He'll trick you into saying, oh, I dropped something down there. Do you see it? And then he'll kick you in. And you get sworn by skeletons. It's just, it's no, no fun. Um. Excuse me, sorry. I would recommend honestly killing him. And that's what we're gonna do. Curses. What's wrong with you? Well, I do not like him. That's what it has to be. Also, if you attack him once, he he aggros. Normally, for most other NPCs that you can attack, they don't aggro immediately after you hit them. So that's another little kind of sign. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay. So if you notice, when you push the switch in, your spikes go away. 
If you notice when we had looked up at it just a minute ago, it turned and it made it to where the spikes were gone. That was Patches. If you get halfway through that bridge, I remember now, if you get halfway through that bridge, he'll turn the switch and make you fall to your death. Because he's a dickbag. So kill him. I don't like Patches. He's an asshole. Alright, so now we've got through the fog door here. Let's see what we have next. Let's pull out my... What are you after, sir? Oh, he parried me. I was not paying attention to what he was doing. <laughs> Very nice. That's funny. Let's just take you out. And that is a parry animation, so don't be like me. Don't attack when they're doing that. If you don't attack, you'll be fine. If you attack, you're gonna get parried. Oh, shit. Whoops. Well... not paying attention. That's alright. Not a big deal. Luckily most of the things, at least in this part of the catacombs, is fairly easy to handle. Oh! Oh, it's a big boy. Okay. <laughs> he scared me, I'm not gonna lie. I very much meant to roll that. Let's pop a humanity. And get hit. Alright. Come on. It's been a couple weeks since I played, so I'm a little bit rusty. Damn. Oh well. Got the guard, so it worked out in my favor. Alright. Let's see. I do believe... Dark Moon Seance Ring. Let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, grants additional attunement slots. Really good ring if you are going for a magic build. Not even really good. Fantastic, even. It's, it's great to have. Uh, let's see, let's see. We should be nearing the quote-unquote mid-boss of this um, section fairly soon hope so, unless I already missed him. Uh, Alright, there's this mofo. Alright. I'm gonna run away. Pop a humanity. I'm out of Estus. Alright. And I got a humanity from that uh, necro as well. Sir, please stop guarding. And hopping, God, asshole. Alright, let's see. I wanted to read the message, please. Up, obviously. Okay. It's kind of obvious that this is supposed to go up, but I guess I gotta, I guess I gotta tell you. Because I don't think that was a player message. I'm pretty sure that was a developer message. Uh,. This is definitely trappy, so I'm gonna roll. Oh, I still got hit. Shame, shame. Miracle, Tranquil Walk of Peace. This might be one of the first miracles we've got. Okay, not the first, but the second. Tranquil Walk of Peace, Outland Miracle, Foreign to the Way of the White slows all walking with an effect area. This miracle is normally used to flee as it slows walking but does not affect attacks, but nevertheless defines peace perfectly. Come to think of it, I don't think I've ever used it, but... Alright, so that just led me to... Triple Walk Peace. Uh, there's no special doors anywhere in here. So back it looks like because this was just a detour to get that miracle okay Th the whole thing might have actually just been a detour to get the miracle but I guess nope it's not here we go this is what I was looking for uh, this is borderline a gauntlet 
right here. It's and I might actually die. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 that was close. That was risky business right there. That could have been bad. Okay. We lived though. So let's take care of these guys. Alright. That should be both of them down. Okay. Alright, let's see here. Okay, obviously don't want to go that way, but we do want to go this way. I do believe, yes, there is a Titanite demon in here. So, be warned. You have been warned. And, let me see here. One of these, I actually think it's that one, uh, we need to use for a kind of a shortcut here in a little bit. Um, we might actually have to beat the Titanite demon before we can, but. We're about to find out. Uh, I really would like another bonfire, if at all possible, though. Okay. This way... Uh, I also... I don't think you actually have to fight the Titanite Demon. It's... Uh, hello. It's not a required fight, if I recall correctly. Um, but it does get you a Demon Titanite, if you're needing or if you're just feeling like you want to fight a Titanite demon. Uh, I want to, but I don't want to. He is guarding uh, an Ember as well. Uh, let's see if we can take him. Right, here. Oh boy, he does a lot of damage. This is no bueno. I do decent damage to him, so... I roll too early. Back it up. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, roll, motherfucker. God, why do you take so long to use the humanity? Okay. I'm just guzzling humanity over here. Alright. Let's see if we can... There we go. Could have gone better, most definitely, but it did not go too bad. So let's grab our spoils over here. An Eye of Death. I was wrong. He was not guarding an Ember. I know there's an Ember in here somewhere. There's also a Blacksmith in here somewhere. Um, but also, if you noticed, Nestle in Coffin. Now, I don't honestly remember if this is now or later that you can do this, but I know if you nestle in this coffin and wait just a little bit, it sucks you in and uh, spits you out in a different part of the catacombs. But that might be, I might be ahead of myself, that might be after you do a few things here. Uh, we'll give it a couple, a little bit longer, and then if nothing happens, then I'll know. Oh, there we go.
two with the Giants. Let's see. This, if I recall correctly, is actually where you fight Nito. Um, yeah, this is actually where you fight Nito, but this is also where you can enter the Gravelord's Covenant. Um, actually, I believe this is the only way you can enter the Gravelord Covenant, and I'm not sure if you can re-enter it after you take on Nito or not. Um, I've never joined the Gravelord Covenant. I think it's another invasion one. So I usually tend not to do those because I don't normally do invasions or PvP in general. But, in case you wanted to join that covenant or anything like that, now you know where it's at. You just have to be a little patient when you jump in the coffin. Uh, I'm really hoping we find another bonfire pretty soon, because I should have, I guess I should have rested at the one at the beginning, but I actually thought there was another one relatively not relatively sooner. Um, I thought there was one not so far in, is what I'm trying to say. I just can't talk, apparently. Okay. This part here uh, is getting us, inching us ever closer to the blacksmith that's down here. Let me see here. Yeah, here we go. So we'll go down these ladders here. And he hit me. He hit me. Okay, this is gonna be obnoxious, isn't it? There we go. Definitely could have gone better, but did not go too bad. Uh, where's that blacksmith? Should be getting fairly close to him. No? Maybe not. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Uh, okay, here we go. This is my least favorite part of this area. Up until now, it's not too bad. But now, we've got these dumbasses. I hate the bone wheels. I think they're dumb, I think they're cheap, and this is coming from, I mean, I don't find many enemies in this game unfair. I don't like the button wheels. Luckily, they go down pretty quickly. You should be able to kill a fair amount of them without too much difficulty. Okay. Uh, just try not to pull all of them. Try to only pull the fuck? Okay, that one... Huh. That one glitched in the wall. And I might just be being a baby. They're, I get, they're not technically unfair. I mean, okay, I don't know what the hell's going on. They just keep rolling in the... I've never seen that happen before. Can we do it again? I'm gonna try to do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. Alright, here we go. We're gonna do it. Oh my god! That is hilarious! Oh shit, hello! I forgot you were here! Oh, motherfucker. Okay. Hello. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. I forgot this guy was here. Like, completely forgot. Oh boy. try to parry you. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna just go through all my damn humanity in this place, aren't I? Oh well, I'm not gonna use it for anything else. That is so interesting that they glitched through the wall right there. I didn't know that that happened, honestly. That... 
I mean, that's obviously not intentional. That wasn't intentional on the developer's part. I just find that hilarious that that actually happens. And I've played this game so many damn times that I've never seen that happen before. Okay, in the background, I don't know if you can hear it, uh, you can hear the blacksmith tinkering away at his uh, black, blacksmith station. God, speaking is hard. And if I were, I think he might actually be this way. So let's... Hmm. He is this way, I just haven't quite figured out how to get to him just yet. There's got to be a switch around here somewhere. I know I'm missing something to access him. We'll find out soon enough. Uh, okay, this should be the the mid boss fight of this area, or not? Nope, I'm wrong again. No, I'm right. Never mind. Okay, for this boss, you don't need your faith weapon or your Divine Weapon anymore. Uh, this boss, if I recall correctly, is relatively easy. So this is Pinwheel. Um, Pinwheel is a relatively easy boss because you do so much damage to him. Uh, the issue is he does do a lot of damage back to you, which is can be a problem. But as you can see, he's dead. I probably could have got away without healing. I just wanted to be safe. And then you get the right of kindling. And there we go, Mask of the Father. Uh, the masks are really pretty useful uh, gear. Mask of the Father uh, slightly raises equip load. The Mask of the Sun, I think, slightly raises your stamina. Um, recovery rate? God. And the Mask of the Mother, I don't actually know what that one does. I've literally only ever gotten the Mask of the Father every time I've played this game. So, uh, really easy boss. Uh, he does hit hard, but you hit him harder. Alright, so with that... Uh, shortcut ahead, let's see. Because I could very much use... A bonfire. Uh, I can't see anything. I hope nothing comes out to get me. Please. Soul of a proud knight. Alright, this should... Okay, this takes me back here. Uh, and there's not a bonfire in here? That's depressing. Alright, well, I think this is as good a place of any as any to go ahead and call it for now. Uh, so, yeah, next time we will continue exploring the catacombs. There's a fair bit more to go. Um, we made pretty good progress. I went through a lot of humanities, but that's okay, because progress is progress. So as always, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.